Hey guys, Silver Seeker here with a brand new video, guys. Today we're talking about Norfed dollars. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of these, uh, but basically back in the early 2000s, I uh, forget the guy's name, it was something Von Non Hottis or whatever. Anyway, he created these dollars using an organization called Norfed, which was actually short for a very unruly name, and I actually typed it out so I could read it to you without messing it up. But Norfed stands for the National Organization for the Repeal of the Federal Reserve Back Act and the Internal Revenue Code. And essentially, his idea was that um, our money should be based on gold and silver like it was uh, in the early 20th century. And so he created these dollars and he ended up getting arrested and being charged um, and convicted of creating false U.S. currency because these resembled what could be construed as a U.S. dollar or a U.S. coin. Um, mainly because if you look at it, it says Liberty. It has Lady Liberty on the front, USA and God We Trust. And on the reverse, you see we got a torch that says Liberty Dollar, and then $20 is the face value on this 2005 one, and this one's a full ounce of silver. Um, this is another one, 2005, full ounce of silver as well. Um, I also have, this is a $5 2003 half ounce silver as well. And then you can see here in 2006, the five ounce got smaller because the price of the silver had went up from three to six. And he was basically basing the face value of these coins um, on what they, uh, what the silver in them would be worth, which is how our money used to be taken care of. Like back in, you know, when we were on silver standard, um, a quarter had roughly a quarter's worth of silver in it. A gold $20 piece had roughly $20 worth of gold in it, so on and so forth. Um, so this guy ended up getting arrested and convicted. Um, and a lot of these were seized. Ultimately, a federal judge um, said that anyone who owned these should get their coins back and they are now allowed to be used as collector items. So um, I, I apologize, I forgot to zoom my scope out here and focus it back in, but we'll just take a look at some of these under the scope real fast. It's just so you guys can take an up close look at them. So let's focus this in just, there we go. So here we go under the coin scope, guys. This is my first one. It says, like I said, it looks like a, a silver dollar. It says Liberty, you got Lady Liberty on the front, trust in God. Sorry, it doesn't say in God we trust. I originally said it says trust in God, USA. And on the reverse, you can see it says Liberty Dollar, $20, Liberty Dollar, dot org, 1-800 new dollar, one ounce and a nine fine silver. And then this is actually an identical one. Sorry, there we go. And then we have this one from 2003, where five ounces of silver, or I'm sorry, half ounce of silver was roughly a five dollar piece. I got my coin scope backwards, so my head's working funny. Now you can see in 06, here we go, we got the fourth ounce that is now also a five dollar face because of the increase in silver value. And I believe the up arrow next to the that's not an up arrow. Yeah, that's that's not an up arrow. Never mind. We'll ignore what I was just about to say. But there you have it, guys. That is your um, Norfed dollars or your Liberty dollars, if you will. Again, the guy got arrested and convicted of basically creating false U.S. currency. Um, but they are legal to be collected, just not legal to be used as tender. So you can't walk into a shop with and try and buy something for $20 with this. Um, although... I, if someone tried to buy something for me for twenty dollars, that was twenty dollars, and tried to use one of those, I would take it because it's worth more than that. But you get what I'm saying; it's not legal U.S. tender. So, really cool stuff. Thought you guys would like to see them, and I'd share with you. And we will talk to you guys in the very next video. Check us out at CoolStacks.com, and make sure you hit that sub button. See ya.